Welcome to the vignette on doing a literature search. In other videos, we talk about what makes a good research question, how to define inclusion and exclusion criteria. Both will now be put to the test during your literature search. You might find out that your exclusion criteria were too lax or too restrictive, and you might want to adjust the definition of your topic. Be prepared for both. First things first, why do we do a literature search? As we mentioned before, the main goal is to be systematic. We also want others to understand our decisions and be able to follow our steps. In addition, we don't want to miss important data points for our meta-analysis. Therefore, we will use a spreadsheet to record intermediate steps. There are three ways to build your literature list and thus meta-analysis. First, you can perform a database search. Second, you can ask an expert for literature on your topic. This expert can be either someone who is currently very active or who has published seminal work. Alternatively, you can look at review papers. We do not recommend this as the sole strategy, because review papers are usually not citing all evidence. Finally, you can look at references. Either you take a very recent paper and check who is being cited, their work might be closely related to the source paper and thus could be added to your literature list. Or you could check who is citing the source paper. This strategy works best if the citations are mostly confined to your field of interest. Often, however, papers will be cited in support of a more general argument. See, for example, the seminal paper on segmenting artificial languages. For the rest of this tutorial, we will focus on database searches, as the other two types work similar once you have identified relevant papers. We will in addition focus on Google Scholar because it has greater coverage than other databases. The first step after choosing a database is to pick search terms. Take your research question of choice, which we discuss in another video, as a starting point. The key terms are word segmentation and infant. Now let's try and enter them into Google Scholar. It turns out that the results are overly broad and contain hits that are not relevant to our topic, such as segmenting artificial speech. You can also see that our search today yields over 7000 results, another indicator of a search that was too broad. You can now choose to refine your search terms or record all potentially relevant papers and make a selection later in the process when scanning abstracts and full papers. In either case, you might want to limit the number of papers you screen to, for instance, the first 500 or 1000 hits. Congratulations! Now you're ready to dive into your literature search.